Welcome to my channel. I am Brianna and this is my life on paper. And this is day three. So I am participating in Christy's beautiful life. And Christy creates, she's the amazing creator of the 30 Days of Sketches, um, which is a series that she does several times a year. Um, this time around, she is taking her, not her favorite, everybody's favorite sketches from past series and using them again. Now, I have not um, participated th on, with this on YouTube in the past. However, I have played along at home. <laughs> um, and so this is my first time doing YouTube videos regarding these sketches, but these sketches are, are great. I use sketches um, all the time, and whether that's the ones here that are featured here or um, Scrapbook Generation is another one that I love to get sketches. There's lots of free ones. I also have some of their books they put together. I can um, link that down below for you. Um, and this sketch that we are using today that you saw at the beginning is a sketch from Rochelle Spears and she uh, for um, sketches in time. Um, I like to scrap monochromatic. Um, I don't always do it, but I kind of start that way if, if at least it um, the, the final product doesn't end that way. This layout is um, monochromatic. So I took an old paper pad that I had. I like to tear them down and I put them in the 12 by 12 um, plastic bags. But the, here's a whole bunch of pieces. I start off with my biggest scraps. And from this paper pack, there's actually, here, let me show you all the other scraps. There's a plethora of colors. So just check out all these different colors. But what I did was from here, pulled the ones that were the purples to go with my picture. The picture is of my second daughter who went to Florida on spring break with friends, her senior year of college. So we have that, we have the purple background. And then according to the sketch, I pulled out these papers. Played around a little with, with them ahead of time. Um, did a little bit of manipulating, um, getting them the size that I wanted. Always remember to start bigger, right? Because you can't go bigger, but you can always go smaller. So there is that. This is a very old paper pad. It was probably purchased from Michaels a long time ago. Um, so I doubt that it's still available. The other things that I pulled in, I wanted to use some punches. Um, recently I've been doing some collecting of punches, looking on Facebook Marketplace, um, eBay, um, Mercari, things like that. And um, when I find a good deal, um, I'll get some of those. So this is the postage stamp one. I'm going to use that as well as a arrow. So I did that. Um, the other thing that I was bringing in is El Ellie's Studio. Um, for a little while I had a subscription, loved it, very inexpensive. I think it's about $10 a month and then you get free shipping on anything else you want to purchase in the store. Um, I did stop that. I did put that on hold. It does um, all the little cute embellishments. Um, they pile up quickly if you don't use them. So I have put that on hold, but I would go back in a second once I start using all these things. So I found that. Um, this was another thing in my stash. So I do separate all my embellishments by color as well as my um, little scraps of paper. Um, and if there's interest in that, I definitely could go through how I organize things. Um, so I went into there and pulled out a couple of things. Um, I like this little frame. Um, this I just punched from one of the scraps of paper that I had. You can see it pretty well matches. This is um, part of a frame from before, so I thought I'd put that over there. I have these. These are from Close to My Heart a long time ago. Um, I used to be a consultant over 10 years ago, so I might stick those in there. I do like the way that goes with the colors on the photo. 
um, I found a couple different tabs. These would both be from Ellie's studio. So I thought about that, but I think I might like that one better. Um, and then a couple other things, um, Hobby Lobby does their sales pretty much every other week. So I have little flowers. The way I organize those is um, I put them in with my other embellishments, but I keep them all in this nice little um, bag. And I got that on Amazon. I can link those below as well. So I have those. And then I also have at my disposal some little um, arrows. And these were made and given to me by my friend Becky. Um, they're made with a Cricut, made with scraps. It's a good thing if, you know, to put in, to, if you're doing arrows already, use some scraps. Um, it's a good thing for your stash. So I might use those as well. Um, and then I have these puffy alphabet stickers. Now I am not a big sticker or thicker fan for titles. I usually do them on my Cricut. These came as a free gift with one of my Ellie Studio um, purchases. So I thought I would use them. Obviously they're purple. Um, I'm going to use that for my title. The other thing I wanted to talk about is that my favorite adhesive is the ATG, the Advanced Tape Glider from Scotch. Um, I get the refills from Tape Jungle. Um, I have to get them less than, or probably more than once a year, but around one, once a year. They do specials. They do um, they'll send me specials through email, but they also, I think it's at least Mother's Day and probably, um, for National Scrapbook Day too. So, um, that's what I use. Um, and the more you use it, the quicker you get at changing these out. It's really not that difficult. Uh, I did start off with watching a YouTube video though. <laughs> so let me get these pieces together. Um, and then I'll come right back. Okay. I am back and I finished the layout. Um, it really went rather quickly. Um, a couple changes that I made. Um, I didn't end up using that, the frame up there. I ended up cutting it in half. Um, I used the other half here. So I have half here and then I had that other piece from before up on there. Um, I'll save this for another project. I did not use the close to my heart. I don't want to bring that pink in. Um, I did use one of those uh, Cricut made arrows. Um, I only used one of the tabs, so I have two more here. And there was something, oh, I almost forgot to use the, the stamp uh, punch, but I was able to use that different shade of purple and it brought it a little bit over here. Originally, I had not thought to put the little um, banner piece over here, but I did that with some scraps too. So I like how that turned out. Um, I did use the Ellie Studio letters, which I really think that's cute. I don't know that I've ever used the commas before. And not only that, but the ampersand. Um, I, of course, did run out of Fs of all things. Um, had plenty of E's, because there's only one E in the Florida Friends and Fun. Took one of the E's and made it into an F, so happy with that. Um, the other thing I didn't mention again um, is that I'm also following along with Bash Your Scrapbook Stash on Facebook. I'll link that below. Um, Basho is going on. They put out a whole bunch of items that you can use from your stash. So I set up a bingo card. There is a, a challenge going on that you can win prizes. I do believe it's already ended, but you can still play along. So from this, I, I've already used the Distress Oxide. I am going to do punches. Um, that I've used. So there you go with my with my punches. Um, I'll link that below. Um, I've heard on on YouTube that this is the year of this of the stash. So I'm very happy to be getting into my stash and using um, a lot of um, pieces of paper and getting that out of my stash. Um, what else? What else can I tell you? I think that is all. Uh, I did want to mention my glue as well. I use the tried and true Tombow Aqua glue, the mono liquid glue. I get this on Amazon. I will list it below. I really like it when you need to move things around a little bit, but need them to stick well. So please, please, please leave me some comments. I want to know what you're liking. I want to know what 
doesn't work so well for you. Um, if there's anything annoying even, I want to know about it. Leave comments below. Um, please go and look at uh, Christy's Beautiful Life on YouTube. And she has a playlist of all the people playing along with this fun series. Um, everybody's using the same sketch every day, uh, but they're tweaking it to their style and there's a lot to learn there. So you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.